Alright lads, so a couple of days ago we did make a video talking about all the possible reruns and as we did expect, the first rerun that we are going to be getting is the New Star Summons aka Spirits of Everview Round 1 featuring Uryu, Don Kanoji and Picaro. Now this banner is going to be dropping tomorrow morning and it is going to stay here until the 30th of September. Coincidentally, the second this banner does leave is the second the mid bump banner is going to be getting announced. Now during this banner's release, we are going to be getting an arena character sometime on the 11th, so do keep that in mind mind, but I don't really recommend summoning for arena characters, and no longer is mid bump banners even worth summoning for because it should be a two character banner, so do keep that in mind. The two banner characters for this specific Spirit Arthur of a Yuri run banner is going to be the Oduyu and Don Kanoji. Now, Oduyu is a tech Link Sort character, that is the main reason why you would want to pull this character on. Outside of that, he's a semi-decent character, he doesn't shine in anything, I wouldn't say he's anything exceptional, and do keep in mind we are going to be getting a new Link Sort character for the Technique attribute in the coming months. From the looks of it, Every end of month now is going to bring us a new Linksor character, and we already started our third generation of Linksor characters. So it's very likely, in less than four months' time, he's going to be getting replaced by a better character that does his job significantly easier. Now, Uryu isn't a bad character by any means, he's definitely on the slower side, but I very much do like this character. I'm a big fan of the visuals, I think this is the best looking Uryu that we have in the game. But if you're someone that only wants him just because he's a Linksor character, then maybe you're better off waiting for the future Linksor character that's going to be naturally better than this Uryu because, again, he isn't that amazing. Moving away from Uryu though, we have the other banner character, in this case, Don Kanoji and Pokaro. They are a tag team character for the most part. He comes with two killers, that being Hollow and Aranka. And this character has a lot of skills to make him one of the better characters in the game, but unfortunately he does come with mediocre strong attacks, making it so maybe you might not even use this character. I very much do adore this character, and he is by far one of my more favourite characters in the game, but I'll be lying if I said he was anything amazing. For a lot of average players out there, you might pull this character, and then never really ever use him. The best use out of this character is definitely to use him in Epic Race, however, because he does provide the team with the debuff effect. How the Epic Raid itself is already easy enough with the Kisuke, so maybe if you're someone that thinks you need him, then maybe you don't, because there's definitely other characters who can do his job. That being said, both of these banner characters are very fun to play around with. I have both of them, and I very much do enjoy using both of them when I do decide to use them in content. Going away from that, though, looking at the filler pool that we do have, we have a good selection of filler characters, and as expected, did, again from the video that we did post a couple of days ago, current free world characters have made their return in this banner to make this banner more enticing. At the same time, just to fill up the third character, because this was a two character banner, we also have the fifth battle Kimpachi. So if you do lack bonus characters for the epic raids and you do want to farm at this month, then this banner might be just for you. Now the Kimpachi, he does transform and he can dish out a pretty good amount of damage. However, he is a premium character and a very common one at that. If this is the only reason why you're summoning on the banner, then you should probably just not do that. The next three characters are Khan Fjord Round 4, featuring the Baragun, Halibo, and Tokinara. Baragun is quite a mediocre character. You wouldn't really ever use him outside of Epic Raids when he is a bonus character. As cool as he looks, unfortunately, he just has not stood against the test of times, which is kind of ironic considering the character that we're talking about. The other character is Khan Fjord Halibo. She's a technique character with the Aranka Killer. She does have an SA2 that does boost and give the team a shield, and she does have a higher than average Berserker, that being 40%. She's a pretty good character even to this day, Albeit a slower character compared to the newer characters out there, she is still definitely good enough to claim most content and still be enjoyable for the average player out there. And, and obviously the other character we're talking about may be the main reason why you're even summoning on this banner, we have come for your Tokinata. As we all know, Tokinata is still one of the best characters in the game, visually absolutely stunning, the voice actor absolutely stunning, and I'm not talking about his voice, he's a very cool character, a very good character of that, and if you're missing him, then maybe now's a good chance to get him. However, do keep in mind, this is the third time he has returned this year. He has been a very common character in the last three or so months, and if you missed your two chances to get him earlier this year, this might be your last chance to get him for a while. But then again, who knows? Maybe Caleb are going to release his character in three months' time like they just done now. And then the other three characters is the Calm for You World Round 2 banner featuring the Zamari, Yami, and Noitora. Zamari is quite a mediocre character. You're never really going to use him. Even in Epic Rage, you just much rather bring a non bonus character that just hits harder. He's nothing special anymore. Not really worth talking about. Definitely the worst character to pull in this banner. Even if he is limited, just getting him once is just all you want. Yami is a decent NAD character. Could be good supporting Gil 
Joe Quest could be good in Epic Rite 20 as a bonus. Majority of the time, though, you probably won't use a character. Um, and then Noitoron, another good Night character, good for Epic Rite 20 as a bonus. And can be a decent counter for Spirits Arthur with Yamamoto. Just hope they don't have Pierce Barry on them. Because if they do, then this Noitoron is going to struggle a bit. But he can be useful, and I do use him in quite a lot of content. So that's your filler characters for this banner. And then looking at the step up formula in this case, we actually have the Cycle Summon. So that does mean if you do get a 5 star, it is going to be one of the filler characters. There's no unfeatured pour rate in this case. Your first multi is going to cost you 50 obs, which I recommend everyone does because, again, it's 50 obs. If you get a new character, you're making profit. If you don't, then you're only down two singles. Not that big of a deal. The 5 star pour rate for that first step, however, will be 3%. And then go into the second step, it's 150 obs. Again, 3% rate. Step 3, 200 obs, 4% rate. Step 4, 250 obs at a 6% rate. And then step 5 is another 250 obs guaranteed 5 star with an 8% rate. Most of your 5 stars are going to be coming from this step because it is a higher than normal rate. And then once you do step 5, you go back and repeat the steps until you go to step 30. Now, there definitely are good and bad things about this step up model. But from my experience, if you are someone that for some reason wants to go down to 0 and do all 30 steps, you're most likely going to walk away with 1 to 3 the characters in this banner at least 5 out of 5. So if that's something that you want to do, then by all means do that. But I recommend most people only do the first step. And if you really want these characters, if you are someone new to the game that maybe just started and needs to start collecting characters for Senkamon to therefore get more orbs every single month, and then maybe going to step 5 is going to be something you might want to do because getting characters is your main priority. Getting 5 stars, whether good or bad, is something you want to do to therefore be able to have an easier time when tackling Senkamon. And this banner does feature a good amount of affiliations. You've got Arankas, mainly the Espadas, no affiliations, and humans. There's a lot of stages in Senkamon that you might struggle in where you might need an Espada, you might need a no affiliation killer, you might need a human, and these characters, having them is definitely going to help you out in future Senkamons or current Senkamons, so do keep that in mind. But that being said, lads, that was the breakdown for the new Star Summons Spirits Alpha V Round 1. For the most people out there, it is going to be a skip, but there is definitely some value to be had here, especially for newer players out there. Uh, most veterans, though, if you are low on orbs, just do the first step and wait for the more hype banners like Spirits Alpha V Round 3, and also, most importantly, Burn the Witch Round 2, which is almost guaranteed to happen later this year and almost guaranteed to bring a new meta-defining character, which is most likely going to be Bruno. Whoever the other character is going to be alongside him is unknown, but you can almost guarantee that that character is also going to be equally as OP as all the other anniversary characters and other Burn the Witch characters. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. In the comments below, let me know if you are something on this banner, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.